What am I, what am I doing in life lately? Um, I don't know, find out next. Um, this is not scripted. This is off the cuff. Uh, <laughs> how I used to do it back in the day before I had teleprompters and scripts and time frames and guardrails for all my videos. So I'm just shooting straight with this one a little bit. And uh, I thought I'd just update you on, on what I was doing. I recently had eye surgery. Um, I had some polyps in my eye. This might be too much information, uh, but regardless, it's what I've been doing. I had some polyps in my eyelids that, that got removed, so I had bandages uh, all over my face for the last week, and it's still a little bit bruised. I actually put on makeup today. I'm going to fully admit I did because it, <laughs> it's very purple. Um, and I'm very self-conscious of it. So I'm so self-conscious, I decided to put out a whole damn video on, on eye surgery. Um, that, that was fun. That was a good time. I, I stayed, I had cabin fever uh, because I was <laughs> too afraid to go out of the house for the last week. So I was happy to get the bandages off and, and doing some, uh, some more videos here. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh, I got to go to Denver. I'm going to Denver next week. Uh, we're doing some Zoom phone training, and I get to go be part of, uh, of that and, and meet colleagues and coworkers that I have met and haven't met before in the last four years that I work with here at Zoom. So, that, so I probably won't put any videos next week either. And then the week after that, I announced last week that I was going to Channel Partners uh, in Vegas, so I'll be a, a guest uh, speaker for the MVP session for Shocking Zoom. I'll, I'll be there uh, Monday, Tuesday. If you're there in Vegas on Tuesday at the at the Venetian, uh, stop by the Zoom booth and, and say hi. Happy to happy to uh, answer some Zoom questions for you. And if I don't know the answers, I'll just I'll just make them up. Honestly. <laughs> In December, I had this. I was approached by Pact Publishing uh, to write a book. This is going to be a shocker. It's a book on Zoom, and so they they contracted me to write a Zoom cookbook. And I've I've never written a book before. I didn't know the work involved in it, uh, and I guess my ego was was stroked a little bit with a little affirmation. They're like, "Hey, you uh, you're, you're an expert in Zoom. And you want to write a book?" I'm like, "Absolutely." Was it ever on my bucket list to write a book? It's never been on my bucket list to write a book. But when I was approached, I, I just couldn't say no. So I, I decided, hey, let's tackle this project and, um, <laughs> and write a book. Just the outline alone of what the book chapters are about was like 40 pages long. And as I dove into it, I, I began to think, was this, was this really the right decision? <laughs> I, I'm still tackling that one, honestly. I, uh, I've written four chapters so far, four of ten. Um, and I don't know if you've ever written a book or uh, maybe done some creative writing and, and submitted some work uh, for, for editing. Getting that work back from editing could be the most humbling experience I've ever been through. I, I'm not a writer per se, but I, I do write a lot. And uh, I thought I was okay at it. Until I opened up the first draft of the edited version of chapter one, the amount of red ink everywhere was astonishing. <laughs> Just the formatting, uh, the, gra the grammatical errors weren't as bad as the formatting. I just, I, I guess I'm not good at that part. So I was humbled to say the least, uh, but I've, I've gotten over that. I've, I've, I've learned to accept a senior editor in the technical publishing world knows immensely more than, than I do about publishing a book. So uh, on to chapter four, and I, ho I hope to have this book out probably this later this summer sometime. So I'll keep you updated on that. Another, another project I, I agreed to was a LinkedIn learning course. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said yes to this one either. I guess, again, maybe my ego is so fragile I needed some affirmation from LinkedIn. So they reached out to develop a LinkedIn learning course. Shocking, it's on, it's on Zoom. I know, this, these are surprising revelations. I just, I'm just getting started in that course, so it hasn't inundated me with work just yet. So basically, I'm, I'm, I have like three full-time jobs. Of course, I work for Zoom as my full-time job, and now I have a, a book to write, and now I have a LinkedIn learning course uh, to do, and now I have travel the next two weeks. I'm not sure there's enough hours in the day, honestly, to get done what I need to get done over the next uh, few weeks, but again, I'll keep you updated on, on how it's going. 
On top of those three full-time jobs, I also have a full-time job as a dad and a husband and maybe a part-time job as a friend. Uh, something's going to have to give, and it might be the free time that I have in the next probably six to seven months. I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that one, honestly. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Any tips or t tricks, you let me know if you have them. Put it, leave them in the comments below. I have, a, of course, I have a YouTube channel as well that might suffer in the next uh, few months. That is the least paying of the jobs. <laughs> People ask me if I if I make money off of YouTube. I, I guess you can call it that. In the end, there's there's enough to maybe uh, buy a meal uh, on a monthly basis, but it's by no means affording the mortgage. Uh, I, I don't know if I aspire to be that level. I don't do YouTube to make money, honestly. I, I do YouTube to, one, I guess, increase brand awareness, uh, help my fellow AEs and SEs at, at Zoom. And just, I really just love creating content, honestly. So YouTube might have to suffer now that I think about it. But I'll, Again, that's another job. It's another part-time job that I'm going to have to, to prioritize. That's a, that's a long list of things I'm doing this year. I was never good at taking notes in college. I, I never really took notes in high school. Uh, and then I went to college and I figured out that taking notes is really <laughs> a really important part of college. So much so that I didn't even really do really well in college my freshman year because I thought I could just wing it because I was smart. I figured out real quick I was not as smart as I had thought I was. There was one class in college, actually, that the professor said, hey, if you turn in your notes along with your homework and your, your midterms, I'll bump your letter grade all up a full, a full uh, letter. I survived on notes, apparently, in that course, and that's when I really learned how critical note-taking was. I've slacked off a little bit in my professional career because I could just keep in my mind what I needed to get done. I'm getting to the point, I don't know if it's because of my old age or the level of things I have to do, I can't not keep notes. I keep a OneNote open all the time with tabs of every customer, with tabs of every project, with tabs of literally everything that I need done. And I prioritize those on a daily basis. We also run a Coda page in, in my job where I have to keep track uh, of all the projects that I'm doing at Zoom as well and what percentage of they're complete. Without taking notes, uh, I don't know how I'd survive, honestly. I'm sure, I, I don't know really what prompted me to talk about taking notes. It just came into my head. And again, I told you I was winging this today. I'm not, this is not scripted. If it was scripted, it would be a really bad script because sometimes it doesn't make any sense. So that's where I'm at today. That's what I'm doing on what? February 29th at 2.39 on 2024. That's my life uh, update as, a, as of now. I don't know if I've given these before. It just, uh, I hadn't got, done a video, I guess, a, an impromptu video. I do a lot of scripted videos, uh, but I hadn't done an impromptu, just off the cuff uh, video in a while. So I thought I'd wing it today, see what's going on. Have a great day. <laughs>